good morning from the 1903 lounge in Manchester Airport at Terminal 2. Um, it's Saturday the 24th of June 2023 and me and mum are going to Florida. But I've got a little surprise, for, I'll keep looking in the viewfinder because I'm making sure she doesn't come back. So I've got a little surprise for her to tell her about in a minute. Um, never been in a lounge before. It's not been the most smooth um, journey getting to this point because my shower broke this morning so mum had to wash her hair in the kitchen sink and I had to stand in the shower pouring jugs of water over myself. Um, then what happened? Well, my car's on the blink. Um, that's currently in the garage and I'm probably facing a horrendous bill so that's causing me a lot of stress. Um, when we got to the airport mum left a phone in the car but we realised after checking, thank god before we got through security so she had to run back for that. Um, at security my bag got stopped and I had to go through a search but not just the normal search where they put it to one side it got put in its own little area because it activated something so we think it was my batteries um but yeah now we're finally here it's absolutely boiling hot I'm feeling a bit sick because I'm anxious because that's standard for me going on on a flight so I'm going to take some travel sickness tablets have a coffee have some Prosecco and try and relax um it's currently half past seven. Oh no it's not it's 10 to 8 and the flight is at 9 45 um so yeah, surprise incoming. Here's mummy. I've been up since quarter to four. Now I've got, got food. Sausage, bacon, tots. Nice. What was it like up there? Was it good? Yeah, it's just it's very relaxed. Not a lot of people there. There was only me. No, but I mean like the select. <coughs> selection. Well, well, bacon looks nice. It's just like your bacon. Yeah, and they've got some fruits. They've got some cereals. Have they got any pastries? They've got some pastries. Got Look some in the camera, not me. They've got some cookies. Yeah, yeah. nice. Orange juice. They've For those that don't know, this is my mum. And um, this is Diane. Hang on. I'm telling you a name because on the last vlog, I don't think anybody ever knew a name. They just knew her as mum. Oh, that's okay. Diane. Um, where's Emma? Oh, Emma can't come. She's got no holidays from work, has she? No, that's a shame. I thought you were going to cry. I was going to say, don't make me prepare. I'm enough going on this morning. I can't believe you're going to Florida without your daughter, Mum. That's nasty pasty. Don't do that. She's been left all alone. Emma, it's all right. You're in November. Are you seriously not going to cry? No. Bloody hell. I need food. All right. Tuck in. Here we go, Kate. This is me recording you, which is really good. <laughs> you on the old vlog cam. Work in progress. Mm. So this is your little... Little food items. Yeah. I've, have I told anything to my camera about this? Because mum's filming as well. So I don't know what I've said what to, but I think, so this is the 1903 lounge. I think it's absolutely amazing in here. I'm gonna go quick, mess around. Mm. We call some strangers, hi there. I've got to start off with, I've got a mimosa, which mum called a book fizz, but I told her that they're not in the 70s anymore. It's now a mimosa. And I've got a flat white, and I've got like a full English short set up. And then you've got a tray full of loads of pastries and cakes and stuff like that. Which I thought I was, I thought I was only going to have a couple of pastries to be honest, but then I saw, I saw the beans. I love beans. I can eat beans all day, so I had to get some beans. No toast, just beans. I'm not trying to not have gluten. Right, okay. So, but, but yeah, I, like honestly, never been to an airport lounge before. I am already, I've only been here 10 minutes, I'm already giving it 10 out of 10. Like, Look at that bar area. This is so, so nice. So yeah, so it's all help yourself. Let me just take it. Okay. I'm in the middle of eating me, buddy. Right. Stop one getting up for now. So it's just full of glasses and fully stocked. So like beers and stuff, Guinness, champagnes on the top. And it's got all your spirits and everything, and you literally just help yourself. Yeah, absolutely mint, like. Exceedingly happy with this lounge. Mm, lovely. Now, like the start of the holiday cake. Yeah. So, how much was it? We think it was about £100 for the two of us. Mm. And I honestly think that's just the best £100 ever spent. So calm in here, it's so quiet, so many seats. Yeah. We'll look at the view. Yeah, the seats are nice. Everyone's got like an individual pod, but we've pushed ours together to make a bench. Yeah. Looking out over the plains. Lovely. Oh, Mum, we need to do that thing. I want to introduce a holiday, don't I? Like one at a time. But you know, I said last night. Oh, hang yeah. on, hang on. Next scene will be what I want. Oh, yeah. Nope. Okay, so this is the one at a time thing I wanted to do. So I want to give you just an overview of the holiday, what's coming up. So we're going to take it in turns. Who runs out first? So we're flying this time with Chewy to Melbourne Airport. And can I just say that Kate is making me drink this? I literally had my 1903. Yeah. Tea mug. She said, I can't believe you've not got me one of them. So I went and got her one. Yeah. So 
Yeah. So we stayed in Pop Century. Yeah. We're going who's, for one week. Who, who's having a Murphy bed? Mum's having a Murphy bed. We're going for one week. Yeah, we're going for one week. We're staying in Pop Century. I'm very excited. Mum, we're supposed to. What are you doing? We're supposed to be doing one thing at a time. Oh. Uh, honestly, I get ratty, but. Yeah, well, I am old. Yeah. So I'm very excited about the food court in Pop Century, actually. I'm sorry about that. So anyway, today we're going to, when we land, at Melbourne. This is not what I have planned, is it, Mum? No. <laughs> this is just you talking to the camera. <laughs> Here you are. And it's over to me. Carry on. Join me now. <laughs> Come on. Keep chatting away, you've ruined my plan. Okay, so we, when we land at Melbourne, then we've got an hour and a half to get to Pop Century. Then we're just going to throw Look the at the camera, in. not at me. Throw the luggage in. I want to look at the camera. I want to look at pretty girl. Look, look at the camera. And then we are going to go to Planet Hollywood to pick up our magic bands. Yeah, and we've got free magic pan bands. 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 Free magic bands. Yeah, but the they didn't tell you that you've got to go and pick them up from Planet Hollywood. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to go to Magic Kingdom, hopefully see the fireworks. Well, hang on. Oops. That's the plan. We're hoping to get to Magic Kingdom tonight, but will we? I I'm planning on sleeping all through the flight, all through the coach transfer, in which case I'll be good and ready to go, but she doesn't sleep. No. So tomorrow we're going to Magic Kingdom. Uh, Animal Kingdom. No, we're not. Yeah, Animal Kingdom. Yeah, we've got a night in the Hard Rock. Have we? We haven't. No. Have you? That's why I wanted to do one at a time. <laughs> are we? Yeah, of course we are. Yeah. <laughs> got no car. Got no car. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, I know. She's on about the fact that, that my car's broke and it's gonna end up costing me like thousands of pounds. But it's all right. We'll stay in the hard rock for a night. Oh, well, we oh. can still enjoy my life. Coming in for a kiss. Oh god. Mm. Oh, cute. No. Good at it. <laughs> so when are we staying? Um, Tuesday. I'll tell you the details now. I don't want to be miserable on my own vlog. I'm yes, I know. I'm for what she's done to me this morning. She is. She's literally telling yeah, me about all Emma. the bad things. So Emma, you're on the vlog. <laughs> all right, vlog. Hi, Emma. Not the vlog speaks back. She said the vlog speaks back if you didn't hear that. I am. Um, was doing my Night Strider impression from on before. <laughs> last time, last vlog series, it was all about um, join me now. That's gone now, that was season one. This is season two. Now we've got Night Strider and Cheers Ears. Cheers Ears will come tomorrow morning, I hope, unless I forget. But in terms of Night Strider, I was like, oh, I've forgotten it again. I had it dead good and then I lost it. You did it. have it dead good, you were like good. spot on. Oh, it was like, um, there's no Burger King, Laura. And it's like, don't have any alcohol and don't have any goodies on the flight because you'll feel the benefit when you get there. We'll be going to the parks tonight. Anyway, you get the gist. <laughs> There's just been an announcement that we're boarding at gate 202. <laughs> she said the walk from the lounges to gate 202 is approximately 20 to 30 minutes. How? You walk a mile in 20 minutes. Is it literally a mile away? Bloody hell. What did you think of the lounge, Laura? I thought it was lovely, but I can't do the accent. <laughs> It was a Scouse accent, but it wasn't Night Strider. Sweeties. Got some twizzles. Uh, nah. Got some love arts. Nah. We can play with love arts. Mum's got two sausages in her bag. I, ho I hope they check you on the way out. And two cookies. But not double chocolate. I'm sorry, Kate. I know. Snake. We've made it to the gate, Laura. <laughs> That's what it is. Flight will shortly be ready for boarding through gate number 202. Any passengers wishing to travel on this service today, please proceed to the seating area of gate 202 in preparation for boarding. <laughs> I hope that anybody watching this has seen Night Strider and knows that one about, otherwise I just look really weird. And we really love him. We really love watching their vlogs. Uh, Alright, kiss ass. Yeah, before you know, you get taken down. Uh, why? What's, yeah. I've not said anything bad. No, but yeah. Cause Imitation, you... what did he say? Imitation is like flattery. What's the, what's the, what's the phrase? Imitation is the greatest form of flattery or something like that. And it definitely wasn't a 10 to, uh, sorry, a 20 to 30 minute walk. It was more like 10 minutes. So there was a little bit of scaremongering going on at Manchester Airport. 
But um, it's absolutely rammed here. We're just sat on the floor. Mum's on the phone to Mick. <laughs> Mick's my stepdad. She's already rang him about three times today. It's like constant updates. So leave him alone. I love you and I shall speak to you on not only has she woke me up at the crack of dawn, broke my shower and almost left her phone in the car, she's now ripped a boarding pass. You are a liability. I filmed the last vlogs on my GoPro, but it was giving me, when I, <laughs> it's giving me a weird head sometimes because of the fisheye lens and the, um, the image stabilisation that it does means that when you walk along, it looks like you're waddling. So if anybody's noticed on the last vlog that we, we walk like this, well, not with the hair, it's, um, it was the GoPro. So this one I'm filming on um, an actual vlogging camera. So if I look weird on this, then it is just because I actually do look weird. It's not because of the camera. What did you buy from Duty Free? A bottle of Bacardi for £14. That was a bargain, wasn't it? And why have you got a bottle of Bacardi? And then we're going to get the cups from the resort yeah. with the coke. Yeah. Take the Bacardi in a water bottle. Yeah. Take it where? Magic Kingdom. Everywhere. Yeah. Basically. Breaking the rules. What? Did you say you're all boob? <laughs> um, right, we're on the plane. Yeah. I'm gonna put this camera away now for a while. Last time I felt like I was just trying to pass time on the plane by talking to the vlog, which was very boring. So um, I probably filmed the food because I can't help it. Do you know somebody in the last vlogs commented saying, oh, very original, filming the plane food. And I replied back saying, what else do you want me to film on a plane? Like, do you want a tour of the overhead lockers? But Emma told me to delete the comment because she said it was too argumentative. Um, <laughs> so leave a comment below, I won't fall out with you. <laughs> Such nasty pasties out there, aren't they? Yeah, that's what we call them, nasty pasties. Yeah, everyone's a, either a nasty pasty or a boo-boo. What am I? You're a boo-boo. I'm not. You're a nasty pasty in the shower this morning, but we're not going there. Yeah. What, when you broke my shower? When I get home, I've got no car and no shower. What are we coming back to? <laughs> the cats. The cats, yeah. They're in the cats' room, poor little boys. It's chicken in a black pepper sauce. Crackers. I'm not sure what this is, like a cheesecake, I guess. Yep, cheesecake. Looks a bit iffy, we'll see. Five out of ten. Five. Five. I feel like my scale is different to other people. I feel like most people think that seven is average. Not on my scale. On my scale, zero is abysmal. Ten is excellent. Five is average. That makes sense. So it was average, so it's five. I want to be an eating it, but I'm not warm out with me. Yeah, it's one didn't even try. My chicken Caesar salad. Absolutely. She took one look at it. She went, nope. That smell. It was really strong garlicky, which is not what you want on a plate. It was really strong salt as well. It like, oof. Cheese biscuits were better. Warm Yeah, the cheese and biscuits were nice. Yeah. Action. Way. Coming into land. Um, we had a little finger sandwich, didn't we? We had an egg mayo one, and a cheese and pickle one, and a salted caramel tipping. With the world's strongest cup of coffee. I didn't film it because whatever. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's really nice. It's not, this weather is absolutely fine, isn't it? Yeah, this is lovely. This past couple of weeks has been so hot at home, but now we're acclimatised. But yeah, we're at Melbourne Airport now. Everything was fine, the flight was nice. It's weird here because you get your bags before you go through customs. Um, yeah, got our cases pretty quickly, and then we were in through customs in literally seconds. So yeah, so minutes. quick. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so now it's time to go and get the coach. Should be in about an hour and a half transfer, we think. Um, yeah, let's go do this. After pop century. Yay. This is our bus. I can't tell if it's a Mia's Connect or a Sunshine Fire bus. Or actually, is it a Disney Cruise Line bus? It is a Disney bus, Mum. 
so it says it's a one hour 21 minute drive and it says we've got severe thunderstorm warnings be scared Ooh. I've got this little Mickey Mouse AirPods case which I absolutely love Emma hates it she hates anything <laughs> Even though she loves coming to Florida and loves Disney, she hates anything Disney related, don't she? Any paraphernalia. She's like, ugh, let's see your nails. There you go. And on her thumb as well. Mix us the little ladybirds. All the road signs now say things like Magic Kingdom next ride, Hollywood Studios, three miles. The Disney arches, I'm like, uh. we're off the motorway now, aren't we? So, we must be very close. It's very kind of too, too much warmth, whatever you do. What? Too much warmth. What are you on about? Uh, I haven't got a clue what she's on about. Um, what did you just say about this journey? Uh, I said it seems a lot to just off the plane. Yeah, I've never been to Melbourne before, so with yeah. Orlando Airport. It's what is it? It's half an hour transfer. This is an hour and a half. Yeah, it's just because we want to go. Yeah, it needs to do. Yeah. Nice to see. The journey itself isn't actually that bad. It's yeah. really not bad. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say to somebody, oh, don't fly with Chewie, don't go to Melbourne. I, I would do it again. It's just because you're so eager to get there. It feels like it's dragging. isn't going to work, so that's a bit of a fail. So that was the art of animation. Mum's left me. Whee! Was it something I said? I just said to Mum before, like, it's like... Very emotional. <laughs> just such a weird, it's like hard to describe what the feeling is like. Somebody, if somebody had ever been here and didn't get it and they were like, why are you crying? <laughs> I don't know. Well done, Case. Four cases. You seem very bright. There's a flash come on. There we go, anyway. There you are, very bright. Well done. What? What do you think about it? <laughs> she loves it. Oh. I was just saying that when I see the vlogs of people coming here and um, everyone walks in and they go, oh, that smell. You can smell nothing. Mum, can you smell anything? No, there's no smell. <laughs> disappointing really that we get here at five o'clock and the room isn't ready um i said do you know which room it's going to be and she said no and i said are any rooms ready she said no no rooms are ready and i asked if she could give me any sort of rough idea as to when the room's going to be ready as to like you know what we should do should we bother going far away is it going to be 10 minutes she had no idea so it's poor not to have the rooms ready at this time i mean it's now 12 minutes past five so anyway we're going to go to disney springs and pick up our magic bands because we got um our Disney tickets with attraction tickets direct and when you book through them you've got a free magic band and um, you've got to pick it up from Planet Hollywood just a bit. so we're gonna to go to Disney Springs anyway hopefully get tea from Deluxe Burger get our magic bands and then come back and hopefully the room's ready um, if not probably just go straight to Magic Kingdom but if we go straight to Magic Kingdom without going in our room first then it's gonna be like stay late for the fireworks knackered get back knackered find our cases find the room it's gonna be a bit of a pain that and the thing is, it's like you've got to manage your expectations because we're in a value resort, but we're in a value resort, but it's still a bloody expensive hotel. You know, it's not value compared to anywhere outside of Disney, so I still expect good service. Mum, room's ready. No. I'm deadly serious. We need to go and do it then. Oh, for God's sake. Come on, let's go do it. Come on, get out. 
we decided to bench the room for now to go to the drink to get the burger, which is the best plan. Yeah. Yeah. Voila, from Manchester to Disney Springs. Voila. Um, in terms of the weather, it's all right, isn't it? It's absolutely Yeah, like it's really warm. It's lovely and warm, but it's not horrendously hot. And it's not actually that humid. I can't, I'm not sweating. No, I'm not sweating. I'm certainly not sweating. I'll be back right. with a magic band. <laughs> Hopefully. I like him. We got frozen on the in the background very loudly. But we've got the goods, which match the song. Don't really match our outfits, do we? What are we feeling about the blue? Yeah. And so they only come in that colour, you get no choice, and you can't exchange them because they come unboxed and stuff. But for free, fine. I think it's so nice here. What time is it? So, I'm trying to look at my, I'm trying to look at my watch and it's now a magic band. Um, oh, half five-ish mum. Yeah. Half five-ish on a Saturday night. It's just calm, it's just lovely. Everywhere just looks so clean and nice and how good are these smells? Absolutely. Yeah, Pop Century didn't smell of anything but we're getting some good food smells right now. And finally gonna try a deluxe burger. Oh, nice vibes, aircon. Are we being inside, right inside? Uh, whatever you want. Let me on, I don't know if we're on. Yes. We're on. Go, Kate. Oh I've already loved it yet, but I've got a garlic ranch, chipotle mayo, buffalo ranch, 1920, is it 1921? Some kind of sauce is named after a year, and then, right, you ready? This is an American diet coke. Mm, I can't even, I like, I don't even want to try it because it's going to be too nice. Perfect. That just tastes like a childhood. It tastes like that great big blue sea world that we used to have, you know, with the straw that hooked over and put back yeah. in. Yeah. It was always warm. That is what that tastes like. That horrible sea world that I used to hate drinking out of, but in hindsight, it was amazing. Happy days. What I said before about it not being too hot. Because I was still benefiting from the boss's air conditioning. It is hot. I am sweating. Absolutely. Show them. Show it. Show. Show the springs. Well, I'm going to pass it over to you. So nice. Oh, I absolutely love it here. So two burgers, a fries to share, and a soft drink each was forty-one dollars thirty cents. Ooh, first bite of Disney food. So I've gone for the bacon and blue cheeseburger. Mum's gone for classic. Mum yours actually looks delicious. It's probably better than mine. Ah! I'm going to do Kate's food review. First impressions, this is so big, how am I ever supposed to bite it? Mm. It's actually really good. Mm. Feels nice. Yeah, mm. That is good. It tastes like fresh, it doesn't taste... It's not greasy in any way. Yours mine is like totally non-greasy. It's good. Deluxe burger out of ten. On my on my scale, so zero is appalling, five is average, and ten is excellent. So seven point five is good. I think it's that eight. It's absolutely lovely. It was absolutely delicious. Yeah. 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 It's just really good. I think I agree. I give it an eight to an eight point five. Yeah. Excellent vibes walking along here. What my lens? Something on my lens. Vibes just gone. Right, I've tried to clean the smudge away, so I hope you can't see it anymore. It's lovely into here, Mum. Nice vibes. We do like a dinosaur in this family, especially a Trex. Oh, there's one up there as well at the top. A boo boo. Emma's given us a shopping list of merchandise that she wants and it starts with this um, Disney 100 mug. So, join me now as we enter the world of Disney. The shop is chaos. I 
found the mugs mum, they're over there in that bottom corner. Just filming because I love this song. Mission not accomplished. We couldn't find the mug, so we've not bought anything. We're now gonna go and look at alternative magic bands. Because we aren't struck on the blue. Mission number two also unsuccessful. So apparently they're phasing out regular magic bands. And I don't want a Magic Band Plus because you've got to charge them. And that's exactly why I want a Magic Band over an Apple Watch. So I can't be bothered bringing all these charges and charging everything every night. So yeah, so they're phasing those out so they don't really sell them anymore. Um, apart from, she said, resort gift shops. So if you want a regular Magic Band, you better hurry up. Um, we're just going to go into Under Armour now just to smell it because Steve from LNS Adventures says that he loves the smell of the Under Armour shop. And I want to see if it's like the Pop Century situation where I can't smell anything. Right, now approaching Under Armour. Tell me if you can smell anything, Mum. Okay. Laura. I'm not the best of smelling. Oh, it's not the smell of yeah, like clothes, yeah. like trainers. Yeah, I'm not bad, yeah. yeah, nice, pleasant. It just smells like a shop. It smells like any gym shop. Steve, come on. Dad, bit of a Dell for you. Springs. If I don't get one now, I'm never going to know, but I'm still full from that burger, so I've got to force one down. You can do it, Kate, for the tea. Here's the menu. Dale's bread pudding and chocolate ganache. That sounds delicious. So what I'm thinking of doing is just going to try the olive oil one, and where's the goat's cheese one? Is that gone now? Guava and cheese. Ooh, I'm gonna try this. I'm probably gonna buy that actually. Right, just trying a bit of olive oil. Okay. So I got the mint chocolate chip and the peanut butter. Now the peanut butter. It's nice. I don't think it's for me. <laughs> This is what Adam Hatton had, he loved it, he actually had this one. Thank you. Oh, Back there, they're making the cones. They're all waffle irons, each one of those. Constantly making waffle cones. That's amazing. I've never seen that before. This is what you do in Disney. You try food, round bins, trash can. Is it nice? Can you taste the strawberry? Can you taste the balsamic? Can you taste the honey? Yeah. Can you taste black pepper? No way. No. I thought you were going to say yeah then. Very strawberry. Yeah. Good. Ooh, nice. This camera, when I set it up, it looks right, and then I press record, and then it zooms forward. So I was more expecting this sort of shot. That's why I went. Ooh. How nice is that breeze? He will not. Silly egg. So where have we been? We've been to Deluxe Burger and we've been to the main um, World of Disney shop. We've been to the co-op, we've been to the pin trading shop. We've been in Starbucks. We've had an ice cream from Salt and Straw. We smelled Under Armour. Um, and I think that's it, but it's been lovely. Now we're gonna get the bus back. We're gonna find our suitcases. About three years has passed. Oh god, look at the state of me now. It's been a long day. 
we still walk into the bus because we're in a value resort we get bumped down to the very furthest <laughs> away I don't think getting our steps up is something we really need to worry about on a Disney holiday that's gonna happen oops still not zooming again thing this buggy is automatic systematic we're gonna go and see if our cases are lost yeah it's an E1 setup for it oh a little slip this is our block. We got a preferred room, so we're a bit closer. Et voila. Pink sky, pretty. I feel like I've never been at this hotel for one second and not heard somebody screaming. <laughs> it looks nice though, it's all purple and the sky's purple. So we don't know if the magic man's gonna work. Let's give it a go. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we need a room tour. It smells nice in here. It actually does smell nice in here. Mm, it smells like perfume in, but not, yeah, it smells nice. Bedroom, bathroom. Everybody knows what this looks like because every man and his dog stayed in the pop century. Uh, I'm just hiding out of the mirror because I look awful now. Here's the storage. I'm just like mumbling all the cases in, that's nice of me, isn't it? We can't wear our Mickey Mouse nighty at the Hard Rock, so I went to try and find us anything Universal related. I was hoping for Harry Potter, they didn't have anything, so I'm gonna do this quickly. <laughs> We've got these. Oh my god, they are <laughs> awesome. So which one's mine? The pink one? Yeah, you're Patrick. And you're yellow. Who's, who's yellow? You are joking. Are you Spongebob? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Great. Thank you, Kate. That's fun. Welcome. Thank you. I literally can't even believe I'm filming myself with no makeup on. I forgot that I had to end this vlog. <laughs> so we got to the room. This is as real as it gets. People say that they enjoyed the vlogs because they were real. Well... This is pretty real. <laughs> um, yeah, so we got back to the room and then we unpacked and we got an Instacart order delivered. So we've got, what do we get, Mum? Some wine, some water. Wine, water, margaritas, bananas. Oreos and bananas. That came to $75. I realised that I haven't packed the thing that I used to curl my hair overnight, so that's really annoying. So I've ordered that from Amazon. That's going to come on Tuesday. It's now Saturday. Um, what time is it? Like half ten. So the camera just died in the middle of that last clip. If that wasn't reason enough to stop filming with no makeup on. Um, yeah, so it's quarter past 10. We're gonna go to bed now. We've got our alarm set for 6.45 because that's when we need to get up to download to buy Disney Genie Plus so we can make the things, you know, do what we need to do at seven o'clock when the things open. Um, in terms of this room, um, I actually really like it. I, honestly, I came into this holiday with a bad attitude and I don't want anybody to think that I've been snobby, but it, it was that. I was like, I just don't really know if this hotel is for me. But this room is actually really nice. It's sound. Mum agrees. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I don't think I've got anything else to say. It's been a really pleasant travel day. Oh yeah, it's raining. We went to go and collect the Instacart order. It was chucking it down. We had to use the little umbrellas that mum's bought for us um yeah oh look at um can you see over there let me zoom in we've got all of our lounge flies on display <laughs> so night mum what have you got in there you got a cup of tea why is it in a travel flask all right right well what does he say be kind, stay safe, and look after one another. <laughs> we'll do that. Yeah, right. See you tomorrow. We're off to Animal Kingdom in the morning. Bye.